This is a guitar capo, a convenient and useful tool that allows us to play lots of different chords across the fretboard. You might often see guitar players, especially acoustic guitar players, using a capo and singer-songwriters in particular. So once you've learned each of the chords in the open position, down here from frets one to three, the next step to take your playing to the next level is to use a capo. The capo allows you to play chords across the neck and the fretboard, sorry, that you wouldn't otherwise have been able to reach from playing just in the open position. The brilliant thing about a capo is that any of the chords that you play in the open position are exactly the same shape when using a capo. Yes, you heard me. Exactly the same shape. So the first thing this allows us to do is to play what would be a bar chord that takes quite a while to learn, and if not certainly remember, but to actually be able to do this and hold the chord definitely takes it a long time, it requires more finger strength for the finger to flatten as a bar rather than an open position chord. So the capo is one of the most common ways for us to be able to play a bar chord with just the use of the open chord position. For example, if we play an E chord with the capo on the third fret, you clamp the capo, open it, and clamp it to the fretboard. Now, we want to imagine that this capo is the same as the nut here on the guitar. For me, I have a metal nut on my electric guitar. You may have a white plastic nut or a bone nut. Any, it could be white, black, any color, but it will be here before the headstock and then the fretboard here. We want to imagine that this capo is now acting as the metal bar we have here. So if we play an E chord like this, an E chord with a capo on the third fret will now look like this on fret four and five. You may have a dot here on fret five, so that will help you remember where to place it. So if we play an E chord with a capo on the third fret, we are actually playing a G chord, which would normally be played as a bar chord. The second use for a capo is for transposing a song. That means changing the key of a song. This is particularly useful for when something is too low for someone to sing, or perhaps it's in an uncomfortable position for them to sing. Whether you're singing yourself or playing with a singer, transposing and changing the key of a song can help whoever is singing preserve their voice. It also allows you to play the song in a different key that's more suitable for the range of their voice. Maybe the person isn't hurting themselves though, or damaging their voice, but actually in fact their voice sounds better in a different key. Like any instrument, whether it's the guitar or it's a voice, there'll be a point when the range of that instrument sounds at its best and it really comes to life. So it's worth trying a song in a different key. If you're playing chords in the open position, just place the capo on a fret and place that chord as you would normally in the open position. Just by moving the capo around, you may find that the song you're playing suddenly sounds better.